Now in order to measure your yarn, how much yarn you need to sew these together, whatever size of square, whatever size of seam you're sewing together, you're going to measure double the length of the seam plus another four inches or so for your tail ends. And then you're going to put that on your darning needle. Now I am choosing the pink as the color to sew in and so whichever is your color of your darning thread, I like to have that square at the top of the pieces that I'm joining together. So you can just start by bringing your darning in your tail end into the back and you're going to leave a little bit that you can darn in back the other way. And so what you have is you have your chain two spaces in each square and we're going to come in into the top of the very first chain of the chain two space and just picking up the one loop from behind just like that and then you're going to come around to the next square and you're going to go into the top coming in from the top of this first chain of the chain two space so you're picking up those outside chains and then on the top square you're going to come in from the back going underneath the second chain of the chain two space and coming in from behind and just picking up that top loop only and then come around and you're going into the second chain of the chain two space of your bottom square and now you're starting to stitch into the regular stitches of the top square and you're just bringing the needle around into the front coming in from the front and then picking up the top loop in from the back of the top square and you're just going to whip stitch those together just like that and then as you're going along what will happen is I'm coming now from this one I'm coming out of a double crochet and I'm going up into a chain one space stitch and that is correct that's how they should be you should be sewing along because that'll make sure that your squares are staying aligned and and then what you can do is you can go ahead and um, tighten up your stitches here if they're a little bit loose just sort of use your needle to snug those up as you go along if you're stitching kind of loosely and so then you'll just whip stitch all the way along and this goes pretty quickly and I really like how this stitch works it kind of frames the crochet and so as you work along you're going to come into your chain uh, spaces at the end here so here I'm coming into the chain one space of the first chain of the chain two space and coming into the back of the second chain of the chain two space of the top square and then the very last stitch is coming down into the second chain of this chain two space with your tail going into the back just like that and what that and then of course you can just darn in your tail ends and what that does is it makes sure that your squares are lining up perfectly so you're always finishing with that last stitch going down into the second chain of the chain two space of your bottom square and that's just a good way to keep track of your stitches so